Hey everybody and welcome back to Poetic Philosophy number 10, Poetry by the River. This bridge that you see used to be railroad tracks many, many years ago. Now it's a walk bridge across the Merrimack River. I think it's also a part of the Heritage Trail here in New England change is constant. We may not like the type of change, but it happens to teach us something new. This is what poets do. Learn about the moments of life as they flow to something new. In this episode, you'll hear the public domain poetry of New Year's Morning from Helen Hunt Jackson. And they come from William Arthur Dunkerley and my poem, The Perfect, The Perfect Place. So sit back and enjoy. Yes, it's January 1st and there's leaves. Enjoy the show. Thank you. This poem is in the public domain. It's entitled, New Year's Morning, by Helen Hunt Jackson. Only a night from old to new, only a night and so much rot. The old year's heart all weary grew, but said, the new year rest has brought. The old year's hopes its heart laid down, as in a grave, but trusting said, the blossom of the new year's crown bloom from the ashes of the dead. The old year's heart was full of greed, with selfishness it longed and ached, and cried, I have not half I need, my thirst is bitter and unslacked, but to the new year's generous hand, all gifts and plenty shall return, true love it shall understand, by all my failures it shall learn, I have been reckless, it shall be quiet and calm and pure of life. I was a slave, it shall go free, and find sweet peace where I find where I leave strife, only a night from old to new. Never a night such changes brought, the old year had its work to do. No new year miracles are wrought, always a night from old to new. Night and the healing balm of sleep, each morn is new year's morn come true. Morn of a festival to keep, all nights are sacred nights to make, confessions and resolve and prayer. All days are sacred days to wake, new gladness in the sunny air. Only a night from old to new, only a sleep from night to morn. The new is but the old come true, each sunrise sees a new born. That poem in the public domain. Thank you. This is another part of the Merrimack. The Merrimack through history has been the focal point of Manchester. As you can see the old mill buildings across the way. Uh, well, they're not mills anymore. They're loft luxury apartments. And right behind me, hopefully you guys aren't getting dizzy. Just kind of get uh, all along here. This is where they have the uh, fire fireworks. And that right there, it's a new building. It's a hotel. And that used to be the uh, UNH building in Manchester. Used to be, they moved uh, down the road, closer to uh, Granite Street, right next door to Autodesk. Autodesk, yes, it's the uh, company that makes a lot of cool programs, including AutoCAD. Anyways, the buildings 
may be old. They've been with this city and they've changed with this city from mills to colleges and techie companies. I don't want to go too close. I'm doing painting down because there's some homeless people. I want to respect their space. Um, it's rough. I just wanted to get to this shot again. I like that shot. And we shall continue with Poetry by the Merrimack. This poem is in the public domain. It's entitled, They Come by William Arthur Dunkerley. From north and south and east and west they come. The sorely tried, the much oppressed, the faith and love to manifest, they come. They come to tell of work well done. They come to tell of kingdoms won. To worship of the great white throne, they come. In a noble consecration with a sound of jubilation, they come, they come. Through tribulations and distress they come, through perils great and bitterness, through persecutions pitiless they come. They come by paths the martyrs trod, they come from underneath the rod, climbing through darkness up to God they come. Out of, my, out of mighty tribulation with a sound of jubilation they come, they come. From every land beneath the sun they come to tell of mighty victories won unto the Father through the Son they come. They come the victors in the fight, they come the blind restored to sight. From deepest darkness into light they come in holy exubilation with a sound of jubilation. They come, they come. This was the heart and soul of Manchester back in the 1900s when the mills were actually the mills. Now it's um, just a scenic shot of the mighty Merrimack. And way back in history, I don't know if you can imagine this, but before the falls, before they actually dammed up the river, Manchester had pretty bad floods. They had pretty bad floods. I mean, right here, I'm not that far from the, uh, the river's edge. Maybe a few feet up from the, the top of the river. And the Merrimack used to flood. You seen down by the uh, other spots where um, they could easily flood. And it still floods nowadays. Anyways, just some more history of how things change through time. The Perfect Place. I live in the perfect place, New Hampshire, where there is nature in the big cities like Manchester where a short drive of 15 or 30 minutes I can be by the lake or river. In this perfect place, I have an art institute that is the whole community. Yes, art is important in New Hampshire where painters, writers, artists, and craftsmen who put art in their products like a chair, table, and house live their soul's dreams. It is in this place where I get to dance with my soul's music. 
as we flow on life's river. It is where I get to fly with the ego of pure spirit. It is where I get to be the true me. It is where the dragonflies dance their dance of illusion on life's air currents. The perfect place is where life's illusion and life's reality meet. And your truth breaks through in the moment. And you say, ah. Hey everybody, this is the Winnipesaukee River in Tilton, well Tilton and Franklin area. I was trying to find the spot where this river, the Winnipesaukee River and the Pemigewasset River meet to form the uh, Merrimack. But I couldn't find it. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of cities around here and I have to do a little bit of exploring. There's a uh, skateboard park right across the way. That metal you hear, that's uh, skateboarders doing their tricks. But this uh, calm Winnipesaukee River is actually connected, feeds into the Merrimack River out in Manchester. Some people who do the van life thing, and I do love the van life thing, I do get it. That's still part of my dream, traveling around and poetry and all that fun stuff. Um, but and they and they say that adventure is only a gas tank away, and they can they can change their scene anytime they want. But see, I can do that too. Even though I have a home in Manchester, rooming house right now. Um, Manchester is an hour to the White Mountains, an hour to the coast. It's actually a couple hours to Keene, maybe an hour and a half, you know, roughly. <clears throat> That's uh, over by the Vermont border. But I can, I can do that. I can have adventure in this little state of New Hampshire. See, it doesn't matter where you live, whether it be in a van, a fancy house, a room, rooming house, doesn't matter where you live. If you want adventure, you can find adventure in anything. Just follow your heart. Peaceful scene. Thank you for listening. Stay creative in the magic of life. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching Poetic Philosophy number 10. I know it's a little bit longer show than usual. Uh, I hope uh, this is more of the Winnipesaukee scene. I hope that you still enjoyed the show and I hope I gave you something to ponder on. So remember to stay creative in the magic of life. Medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for.